Uh, Mario, I, I got to tell you, I, I know what the calendar says, but <laughs> it, it, it sure doesn't feel like it's going to match the calendar tomorrow. I know it. I mean, uh, temperatures soar into the 90s. It's the middle of October. I know. Halloween's just around the corner. Are you kidding me? But Alaska, but it could change 10 times before then. Uh, <laughs> I know yeah. it. I know it. And on the 10 day, I mean, we have a little bit of everything. We have the warm weather. We have the rain. We have the cooler weather. And right now we have a clear sky. We're looking over Fort Worth temperature right now of 85 degrees. It's just looking like a really nice evening. We do have a front on the way. I wanted to show you this. This front is massive and it brings a big cool down across the big portion of the country. Portions of Colorado, portions of the Midwest under freeze warnings tonight and even some snow earlier in uh, Minneapolis, northern Minnesota. That front not going to bring the same impacts here, but ahead of it, it's going to warm up. We make it to 92 in Dallas, 93 in Fort Worth, Denton, 92 in McKinney. And this is for Saturday afternoon. Normal around this time of the year is about 79. We'll be well above that by 13 degrees. Our next front arrives Sunday morning. That front is going to cool us down to 77 degrees on Sunday. Upper 60s for Monday, mid 60s on Tuesday. It's just a, a weather whiplash, right? Temperatures are going to be trending 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what's considered normal as we approach the first half of next week. It does warm up back into the upper 70s by Thursday of next week, by the way. Rain coverage also going up with this next front. We're talking 70% coverage on Sunday. It dwindles down Sunday night into Monday, but we could be dealing with a wet commute on Monday. So just to give you a heads up there. By the way, as that front makes its way south, it has the potential to bring in some strong to severe storms across central Oklahoma. It's going to move in across the Red River late Saturday into Sunday. And as of now, it is highlighted, or at least our Red River counties are highlighted under a marginal risk. That's a level one out of five for the likelihood of strong to severe storms. That means we may see an isolated storm or two that contains gusty winds and small hail. Not the case across the Metroplex. So here's the timing for that. This is Sunday around five in the morning after midnight. We're going to see some of this rain moving in along the Red River counties. This is going to move south. Look at that. That's around 9 a.m. on Sunday. And we see this front kind of along I-20, following I-20, along the front and north of that is where we find some of the heavier rain. That rain is going to move south as we approach midday on Sunday. We'll still see some lingering rain north of Interstate 20, but the heaviest rain is going to move south of I-20 by Sunday afternoon. We'll still see some on and off showers, maybe a few isolated thunderstorms through the afternoon hours. But again, I'm thinking the heaviest stuff happens before midday on Sunday. Still some lingering rain Sunday night into Monday, especially if we were looking at a portion south of Interstate 20, a little shower there near Hillsboro. I'm thinking we still could see a few isolated showers uh, here come uh, Monday morning during our commute. We could pick up anywhere between half an inch to one inch of rainfall, not drought busting, but absolutely beneficial. October generally our second wettest month of the year. Not the case this time around. It has been so dry. Higher totals for our eastern counties and along our Red River counties. If you're east of the Metroplex, rain accumulation is going to be quite a bit lower. 40 to 50 percent coverage across the Metroplex Saturday night. That means about half of us see the rain and then come Sunday about 70% of the area. That's how much coverage we'll have with rain. This is a great opportunity to see some of this. This is going to then lower as we move into Sunday night. High temperatures are going to drop talking about uh, the 80s today, but 90s tomorrow and then the 70s on Sunday. Eventually we are going to be back into the 60s uh, come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, feeling a little bit more like fall, feeling a little bit more like football weather.